Hey everyone, it's more crafts and mom back for another video. Hi, I got everybody. blinded by the light. Um, so this is a yarn and fabric haul. A little bit of each, okay. Um, so we went, mom took me to a store called Scraps and Skeins. Um, they have yarn, they have a lot of fabric, and I got some stuff there do that last um so I got some I got some yarn a uh, little dino just fell on the floor yes, you did. I got quite a bit of a big bag um we'll do the fabric first because there's only three of those maybe I should have did the yarn first but I got this really pretty stir the sunflower fabric and then I got this really pretty flower fabric, and then I got another sunflower fabric. So these will be bags, and I'm going to start making lanyards and wrist straps, so I figured these would be really pretty for those. Um, this one, they're like really big pieces, so I should be able to make a couple bags and lanyards out of those. And then I got yarn. Of course, I had to get yarn. So, they had two of these Red Heart Strata yarns, um, both in the color crayon. Is that what the name of it is? Yeah, so I got two of those. Um, I got this ball of yarn here. I wish I would have looked at the price because this baby was $15. It's a Zouder Ball by Schuppel. I have no idea how to say that. Um, it's, um, I don't even know what any of these are. Anyway, I'm going to make a dino out of it. Okay, pause. Mm -hmm. I froze. Okay, then we're back. I don't know if I apologize if I froze, but I got this ball. It's a Zauber. Well, I have no idea. Here's the tag. Pet say 15 bucks for it. I would have never paid $15 for it if I would have looked at the price. Then I got um, two skeins of a Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. This is Spun Sugar Stripe. It's like pastel colors. It's really pretty. Um, I got it to make Timothy's out of. It's not a full skein. It's partially used, but I'll use it. It's enough to make a mini or a big T-Rex. Timothy the T-Rex. So I got that. Um, I got a baby yarn. Don't ask me why. I never get baby yarn. But I really like this color. Um, there's no label on it. It was a dollar. And it was a full skein. So I grabbed that. Um, I got another, I love this yarn, I'm going to make Timothy's out of this too. This one is called Dakota. So, very pretty, really like that one. And then my big haul is I got this whole bag of Hershner's Miami yarn for $15. Um, there's a couple white couple red, couple is it, yellow. Is it cotton yarn or what? I don't know. It's oh. a number three yarn. Um, I asked you that earlier, but you never answered me. Oh, sorry. That's okay. It's a number three. Let's just open it up and see because I'm probably going to have to. Um, it's a number three. It is 55% acrylic and 45% cotton. So, what does that mean? It means it's a blend. Oh. It looks like really nice yarn. So, I'm going to make some mini Timothy's out of it. That's why there was a lady looking at this. And she walked away and I hurried up and grabbed it. I had, like, literally an armful of stuff. Because they don't give you baskets or anything. Um... What I originally went there for was they were having a sale 
where if you can fit as much yarn in a bag as you can, it was five or ten dollars. And I went there originally for that, but they didn't have very much yarn that I was interested in. So then I went kind of like on a scavenger hunt and I found these three fabrics and I wouldn't have bought these three fabrics if I would have known that there was prices in the inside because they were a little bit out of my price range. But I'll be able to get good use out of them. But you got them now. So I got those now. And then I, we were, we went to Taco Bell by Ollie's. Because I was, I was hungry for Taco Bell. Mom got sheets because I don't like sheets. It's food. So I went to Taco Bell instead. And they had, Ollie's had some yarn. And I have no idea. Oh, there she is. So they had um, two balls of this yarn. And this was... This guy was on it. I don't know who he is, but he was on there. It's either Bert or Ernie. Yeah, it's either Bert or Ernie. I, I don't remember. I can't remember which one. I don't know which one. Um, but he was on here, and I'm not going to use this for him because I already made something out of. I made a mini Timothy, or a baby Dino. Mary makes crochet pattern. Mary makes pattern. Um. <coughs> His eyes are all messed up. Uh, his leg is... He doesn't stand on his own. I'm putting them in little bags to put around my community. And a little kid or somebody is not going to care that he's a little wobbly. He's not. And I made another one because... So I can't... This one came with this one. And I'm in the middle of making a octopi out of the rest of this yarn. And this one was on this one. I have no freaking clue who the hell this is. Um, I don't, know who I she don't is watch Sesame Street anymore. I'm a little old for it. But, uh... Yeah, she old for cartoons. She's kind of creepy. I don't think she... I think she's adorable. I asked you before, do you want her head? No, I told you you were gonna make a hat and put her on a hat. Some little girl will like her. She's not on here very good like the string that she's on is not very good this one he's like almost coming off so oh. if I do put him them on a hat then I'm gonna have to put my own string because I just don't trust those strings and while I was at Ollie's I saw this big skein of granite variegated and I got it and this is just a red heart. I paid four ninety nine for this ball. This was the most expensive thing I got at Ollie's was this red heart right here. Whoops, and I just threw that. And then I got two of these. Now this is red heart fleece hugs. It is a hundred percent polyester. And I paid two ninety nine for both of these. Are they different? No, they're the same. They're just rolled differently. Oh. Um, so what are you going to make out of them? I don't know. I'm thinking like maybe a dinosaur be a fluffy dinosaur. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have enough to make a blanket. Uh, I'm looking for the yardage. I'm not familiar with these ones. Oh, there we go. So there's 415 yards. One, one. So that would be 830 yards. So, I might, I don't know, I might just make a Timothy out of it or something. But anyway, I got two of those. There's my little haul. So now I get to go put the stuff away so it's not on my couch. Um, and, um, so yeah, that's pretty much my haul. I got a laminator. Uh, it's really nice. And I've been laminating some of my patterns and stuff. And the ones that I did laminate the other and day. And you got a new glue gun. And the other, like the ones I did the other day are my pen wraps that I'm currently in the process of making. I have like four of them started, I think. And I wanted to start two more, but then I bead weave for like almost three days. And was like, eh, I think I'll stop bead weaving. Um... 
and I have an idea for, so you guys know that I keep a graph paper kind of for my 2024-2025 goals. Well, I decided that I was going to make one for my, um, hang on, be right back. Sorry, my mom needed my help for something. <laughs> um, so, I decided that since I have my laminator, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new one for 2025. And um, I also might add something to the 2025 goals. Um, I want to start making more amigurumis and putting them out in my community. So that it's like a random act of kindness. And I, I want to start doing that again. I did that a little bit last year. Um, and I did a little bit this year. But I definitely want to do more of that. Um, so I might do like community. Have like a little community slip. And only make like 20 amigurumis. And if I make more than that then that'll be good. Um, so I'm going to let you guys go. I am going to figure out if mom still wants her mac and cheese for supper. You can just make her fun of food. Are you sure? Yeah. So she doesn't want mac and cheese and all she wants air fryer food. Fine. Um, so I am going to let you guys go. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you guys again later tonight. It is 6.01. Hi everybody. It is 6.01 and I will be back later on because um, I have a regular video to do. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Hope everybody has a good rest of your night and I'll talk to you guys again later. Bye!